Good afternoon, Mall fans. Welcome to another edition of Cookie Monsters Mall Corner. Today we have the monstrous Volvo A60H. Uh, I believe holds the title in the ADT world, articulated dump truck, uh, of being the highest capacity dumper. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, I do know Caterpillar had the 550 which may have been around the same capacity just looking at the numbers here 55 tons um, has an operating weight of 43 tons will travel at 55 kilometers per hour and is approximately 500 low 500 horsepower uh, so quite a beast of a machine um, Lovely little line drawing depiction on the bottom. And made by WSI Models. And I'm not going to lie, this excites me because what I've seen of WSI of late is absolutely breathtaking. They are charging ahead, setting the standard for the model scene regards earth movers um yeah they are absolutely fantastic in detail they do not pass over anything without going to town on it so i'm pretty keen to have a look at this I'm trying not to tear it in my keenness Christmas morning fever is setting in. Again, this was an auction buy, so I have no idea what I'm going to get until we get it opened second hand. So hopefully, no breakages. Uh, first sight, wow, it is a beast. I have a lot of ADT models, and this certainly is. The daddy. It's huge. Huge. Yeah. Appears to have been displayed. A few little marks. But uh, overall, lovely condition. So, yeah. Lovely, sturdy model. Um, WSI have a great combination of sturdiness, quality, and detail I see little mock hinges on the front and yeah there we go I imagine that little orange step also folds down because this machine is a heck of a long way off the ground so yeah you step in there you full access to the filters to that big 550 horsepower Volvo engine and the hood opens right up and we have very accurate detail you can see the air filter in the rear I presume that's the radiator on the side with the cooling fan the cooling intake which matches up to the lovely perforated fully authentic perforated engine cowling grills you have your oil filters, you have your filler cap. Uh, right down in the bottom, you even have a little turbo manifold connection. And the silver pipe taking off over to this side to what would be the intercooler. Oil colors, transmission colors, hydraulic oil colors. So yeah under the bonnet or under the hood if you're in the states it's absolutely fantastic and just the level that i expected from wsi a massive congratulations to them so yeah we have a lovely front end sporting the volvo logo we have a few little decals showing you shipping points 
which have been replicated with a hole in them. Little filler cap on the nose there with the decal. Huge front wheel. We have the articulation point, complete with some more decals showing the crush zone. Come on, focus. You have the red locking bar. A little bit disappointing. Um, on the run of the massive detail on the top, I was expecting front suspension to be modeled and it's a little basic underneath this of course is more than likely a budgetary constraint by Volvo themselves and I'm sure if WSI wanted to they could have had fully working suspension detail so you have the swivel and you have the steering nicely modeled indeed you have some lovely hydraulic hose detail to the rear you have some lovely cab guarding detail and the amber warning light some great handrail detail mirrors you have driving lights on the top of the operator's cab you have the seat i can see a cup holder i can see dash switches there down in the back so yeah some great interior detail so yeah that just about sums up the front end you see the access steps which don't appear to be perforated but still very nicely sharply replicated all the same a better view of inside the operator's cab so yeah definitely an eight and a half nine out of ten for the front end the only little uh, lack of front suspension detail letting it down slightly but as I say, I always feel bad picking holes in what is otherwise fantastic detail. And as I said, probably a budget constraint. So we'll have a look at the back end. And I'm hoping greatly that it has suspension detail. Because this is obviously such a major part of the model's operation. The real machine's operation and what the manufacturers probably wish to have showcased as uh, sales aid and demonstration to potential clients at shows and of course us large uh, children which is just like a nice model to play with so here as you can see they have nicely replicated the pan hard bar the lateral stabilization this is the, appears to be the full suspension version because I believe Volvo offer like a, a walking beam only version. This has the walking beam combined with spring suspension. So I'm assuming this is the absolute top of the range version. So very nice to see this detail. You can see the articulation between the front and the rear axle. The front axle also has a pan hard bar. And then of course it has the walking beams in the middle, which connect the front and the rear axles together to walk over any obstacles in their path. So yeah, some lovely suspension detail, some nice little drive shaft detail and very pleased with the rear suspension as a whole you have some rubber mud flaps no tail door 
again this is optional on the real machine uh, some nice hydraulic hose detail some little warning graphics and that pretty much sums it up so yeah huge body uh, just to um, give you some comparison the size of the body I'll grab a little uh, A25 which would be considered the norm uh, here in little old Northern Ireland is what the majority of construction sites would have ran before these monster civil engineering project machines reached the 60, 55, 60 ton range. So I'll grab a little A25 and I'll grab Bell's B50 for a little comparison. So yeah, here you see the massive size difference between the 25 and the 60. It really is a colossal ADT. Can't even see the 25 when it's parked behind. It's huge by comparison. So yeah, that just about wraps up today's uh, little comparison review of the massive Volvo A60H. I'll just quickly bring in the only contender in the market, the also massive Bell B50. But as you can see, the Volvo is the daddy. So yeah guys, thanks for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you want to get more videos. Drop me a comment, tell me what you'd like to see next. Till the next time, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. Over and out.